to get the area of the incircle of a triangle, we get the area of three triangles that make up this triangle. So I'll draw in three triangles inside this triangle. That's one of them. And here's the other two. So just join the centre to the corners. Next we consider the area of each of these three triangles. Of course if we add these three triangles together we get the area of the big triangle. So let's suppose that the three sides of this triangle are A, B and C. So let's look at this triangle up here. Its base is B, so if we take this side as base, the perpendicular height is the perpendicular distance of this point here, the centre of the circle, to this line. But that perpendicular height is the line joining the centre of the circle to the point of contact of the tangent to the circle, because we know that such a line is perpendicular to the tangent. So the perpendicular height must be the line joining the centre of the circle to the point of contact of the tangent. These two lines are always perpendicular. That's a property of a tangent. Now let's do the same for the other two triangles. Let's look at the perpendicular height of this triangle. So we draw a line from the centre of the circle perpendicular to this side. But that line will reach the point of contact of the tangents to the circle because a line drawn from the centre of a circle to the point of contact of the tangent is perpendicular to the tangent. So the perpendicular height will connect the centre of the circle to the point of contact. And similarly for this triangle here, the perpendicular height of this triangle connects the centre to the point of contact of the tangent. Now, to get the area of the big triangle, we add up the three areas of the three uh, inside triangles. So let's look at this triangle up here. Its base is B, its perpendicular height is R, so its area is half the base by the height, half or 0.5 BR. Uh, similarly for this triangle here, the area is half CR, and for this triangle here, the area is a half A times R. If we add the three tr of those triangles together, we get the big triangle. Uh, we can factorize a half and R out of this expression. So the area of the big triangle is half the radius of the incircle multiplied by the sum of the three sides of the triangle. Now if we happen to know the area of the big triangle, we can solve to find R. If we happen to know what this is equal to, and if we know the three sides, now suppose that the triangle is an equilateral triangle, so the three sides have the same length, and I'm calling the three sides A. Let's look at the area of an equilateral triangle. Well, one way to do that is to use trigonometry, and use the formula for the area of a triangle, which states that the area of a triangle is half the product of two sides by the sine of the angle in between the two sides. So we know from a previous video that the angles in an equilateral triangle are the same, they have to add up to 180, so 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So the area of a triangle formula in trigonometry is a half AB sine C, where A and B are two sides of a triangle, and capital C, the angle, is the angle in between the two sides. So if A and B are the same as they are here, um, we have A times A is A squared, and the angle in between these two sides is 60, so the area of the equilateral triangle is a half a squared sine 60. Now the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. That's what it is in sword form. So we have a half of root 3 over 2. 1 over 2 times root 3 over 2 is root 3 over 4. Here is another way that we can get the area of this equilateral triangle. We know from a previous video that if two sides of a triangle are equal, as they are here, this side equals this side of course, if we draw in the perpendicular height, it will bisect this side down here. So the length of this side is a, so half of it is a over 2. Now, we have a right angle triangle formed here. The hypotenuse is a, and the short sides are h and a over 2. So from this, we can find out h in terms of a. So the square of the hypotenuse a squared is the sum of the squares of the two short sides, a over 2 squared plus h squared. We can solve this for h. Um, 
square this out we get a squared over 4 bring it over and to get h we need the square root of a squared minus a squared over 4 well this is just 4a squared over 4 minus 1a squared over 4 is 3a squared over 4 get the square root of the top we get root 3 times a get the square root of 4 is 2 now we can get the area of this triangle so the area is half the base well half that's half of a that that's just a over 2 multiply by the perpendicular height which is root 3a a over 2 and that's going to give us root 3a squared over 4 two twos are 4 and we have the root 3a squared so we're going to get this here so that's another way we can get the area of an equilateral triangle in terms of the side a now we saw earlier that the area of a triangle is half the radius of the incircle times the sum of the three sides so if the three sides are equal to each other so we can call them a we'll have half the radius times a plus a plus a which is 3a so that's all i did here replace b and c with a if we're dealing with an equilateral triangle and uh, from this we can solve to find r so we have um, 3 halves r a equals root 3 over 4 a squared so we have 3 halves r a here so we divide across by 3 halves a so we divide this by 3 halves a uh, one of the a's cancel as you can see so we just have a on top now root 3 over 4 divided by 3 over 2 is root 3 over 4 times 2 over 3 so we can uh, simplify this down a bit now we can write this 3 on the bottom as root 3 multiplied by root 3 root 3 times itself is just 3 and we can cancel one of the root 3's so we just have uh, 1 times 1 on top which is 1 and 2 root 3 underneath so we have 1 over 2 root 3 times a or a over 2 root 3 so this is the radius of the incircle of an equilateral triangle so we need to know the length of the side so if the side is 6 if a is 6 the radius will be 6 divided by 2 root 3 